Hey there, how are you doing? Charlie Winters here with Horse Racing Tips for Friday the 26th of April. Sorry for the the um, the missing in action, the AWOL. So, I stake £10. Um, it's a 20 pence each way, lucky 15, 50p each way singles. I do like the look of these. Um, there's two I particularly like. Um, third, which is an interesting one, and four is... It's not a huge price price outsider at all, but it's race fit, and I think it could run better than its odds. So the first selection is Tease George at eleven to two in the one twenty three up Doncaster, paying four places instead of three. This has probably had its best run and its worst run at Doncaster. Um, I think it will. It, well, it, it it'll be fit because it's been running on the all weather. It's run twice on the all weather. I think it comes with a decent handicap mark. I do believe that. I think it's Adrian. Is it, I think it's Adrian Nichols trains it, and um, I don't think it will be far away. And I, I think it's Paddy Mathers on board again, and I, I think it's um, it's difficult to see it not running a decent race. 11-2, it's not massive, but I'd, if it runs its race, I think it's got a cracking chance of winning. The second selection is Blue Lemons. This is one of the outside. Well, this is the outside of a lot of that. I'm told, well, one of the outsiders of a lot. Of, I'm talking about uh, Blue Lemons at 9 to 1 in the 150 at Sandan, paying three places instead of two. Richard Nannan has um, been scooping some nice prizes uh, this season. I think it's 23 grand up for um, the taking this time. Um, there's probably some more progressive horses in, in the race than this one, but are they fit? There's a good chance they'll be relatively fit, but I'm, I'm thinking that the vast majority of the horses that haven't ran yet will probably be aimed, or longer term aims would be. Uh, a bit further on in the season this one's hopefully primed to go um it was racing prominently up until it got bumped and then it just weakened hopefully that bump might have like put it off and that's the reason why it stopped pretty quickly um i do think it if it can race in second or no worse than third i think it's got every chance because if it races in second on the outside of the leader um uh, as it come to the home straight they will have to go around it unless it's weakening so I think if it's if it's in second place, that's how I, that's how I, that's where I would, where I would want it, um, and then challenge with like like I say a couple of furlongs to go. It is fit. Um, it's never been beaten that far. I think the most the time where it's been beaten the furthest was on its reappearance. So it's got every chance, and I think nine to one, a fraction too big. Third selection is five wins at eight to one in the 158 Doncaster, paying four places instead of three. Trained by Jack Jones, there's a few in this race that are becoming well handicapped. But I'm thinking personally that the fact that, that some of the others are well handicapped, would they really want to waste a decent handicap mark on a race that's, I think it's about 3,700. I've looked at some of the horses and, and last year they were competing in, in quite valuable races. And I'm thinking if they are well handicapped, they're not going to be too bothered about winning this. Uh, they're just going to keep ticking the fitness over and go for something that's probably coming up not, not too far away. But I'm thinking five wins uh, five wins is um, a bit une unexposed. Uh, but I, I do I do believe they need to start like paying the bills as such. So I do believe it needs to start getting on the score sheet. I think it's been real on the, on the all weather. And I think it will be suited by uh, Don well, Doncaster's slow ground. I think it's soft. Well, it is soft, yeah. And then I don't know why there's no colours for this one. There's no colours for this race at all, and it's one of the more competitive races. So I don't know why. I don't know if Sky Better just messed up. But the final selection is probably the most interesting. So I'm, I'm going to call it a nap. Not the nap because it's the most likely to win. Nap because it's very well handicapped and it, it could scoot in if this is the rain, race he's aiming for. I'm kind of contradicting myself as the reason why I didn't go for another horse in one of the other races. But Animato is very well handicapped. It was running well off the 80s. It's been campaigned on the all weather, keeping it fit. And I think that it's just as effective on turf. And it's, I think it was running off um, the early 80s last year. And I think now, just don't quote me, I, I think it's either off 67 or something like 71. Very well handicapped. David O'Meara is very dangerous at Doncaster. A mark win takes a further three pound off. So Anamato at nine to one is a nap of nap each way nap of the day in the four fifty five at Doncaster, paying five places instead of four. So and like I said, it's 
but a 20 pence each way lucky 15 and 50p each way singles on all four selections so they're very bad oh just to let you know the football bet is already out i'm going to put it in um i'm going to put a link to the video in the description and in the comment section so the very best of luck charlie winters over and out cheers mate